Friends, welcome to my workplace at Tanaghat, West Bengal, India. This eye is having faculitic glaucoma. Let us observe this totally unedited surgery. This is a sideboard made by the keratome itself at around 8 o'clock. Then the main incision is made by the keratome at 11 o'clock. This is a triplanar incision with a steel keratome and the incision includes some capillaries. Now I take a Simco cannula, a 23G Simco cannula and wash the anterior chamber. And we can see the hypermature Morganian cataract and the iris details are visible now. And now, we have to stain the anterior capsule with tripe and blue dye in, in these cases. So here goes an air bubble. I always use an air bubble and then stain the anterior capsule. The staining is very quick and only a little bit of dye is required to stain the anterior capsule if we use an air bubble. Adrenaline is used to maintain dilatation of the people. And then this is lavage of the AC to remove the excess dye, tripe and blue dye. Now the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And then the sideboard on the left side is met about three clock hours away from the main incision. And now capsulorexis is to be done. I'm going to use a needle to make a puncture on the anterior capsule. I used the know uterata forceps found that it is difficult to pierce the anterior capsule and then I used this a sharp needle 26c milky fluid comes out little bit of milky fluid because most of the milky fluid has already come out came out has already was there, we have washed it out initially. And after making the puncture, I remove some more mil milky fluid. And now, uh, this is phenocaine to see if the, people dil if the people dilates little more. The people is not dilating and it is actually becoming small. So I use visco, viscometriasis, little bit of dilatation happens because of visco. Now I use the uterata forceps and do a rexis here. Uh, yes, the rexis is done along the border of the pupil so that the size of the rexis is adequate. size of this rexis is about 5 millimeter. Let's go again. The main wound which was 2.8 millimeter is enlarged to 3 millimeter. This is a um, capsular tension ring. I'm going to place this because the jonule is weak. Because of jonular weakness, we cannot, could not pierce the anterior capsule with uterata forceps. So to be on the safer side, going to use these uterata forceps. It goes under the rexus margin. Goes and 
I hold the trailing end, take a sinski hook in my left hand, use the prong of the sinski hook to go into the eyelet of the trailing end, and then place it under the anterior capsular rim. And the CTR goes and settles at the equator. Let's go again. And now, yes, as I have told, the main wound is enlarged to 3 millimeter. And then, the FECO needle is introduced. The machine is furrows from Oatly. This is a 2.8 millimeter easy tip from Oatly. And the tip is buried in the substance of the nucleus. The nucleus is tilted a little bit. The chopper goes on the posterior surface. Between these two instruments, the nucleus is cracked, crushed and cracked. In this way, chopping of the nucleus is carried out. If you go behind the other, other side of the Nucleus, tilt it a little bit, crush between two instruments. It has to get cracked. It has no other option. And now the pieces are picked up and emulsification is carried out. Ultrasonic energy is set at 80 percent. Flow rate is set at 45 millimeter of 45 ml per minute. Vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. So with this setting we carry out the emulsification of the pieces. There is two and fro movement of the posterior capsule in such cases. That means the posterior capsule comes forward and goes backward because of fluid movements. Like trampolining. And we have to be very careful in such cases. And to be on the safer side leave emulsification of the last portion of the nucleus as I have done in this case. Enlarging the main wound to about 3.1 millimeter. Now placing the lens, a uh, hydrophobic single piece acry acrylic hydrophobic lens in the capsular bag. And this lens will protect the posterior capsule 100% because no portion of the posterior capsule will, will come in contact with the FECO needle now. Only precaution at this time we have to take is the FECO needle will be at the iris plane and it should not touch the anterior surface of the intraocular lens. And the lens, and the lens means the cataract is emulsified slowly without touching the anterior surface of the intraocular lens and remaining far away from the corneal endothelium. There is no cortex, but we have to check it out. These cases usually have some post-operative inflammation. So my plan in this case to use little bit of triamcinolone acetate and check it out the next day. Yes, I 
saw this patient today morning. This surgery was done yesterday. I saw the patient today. Cornea was clear and there was no corneal edema. And the antechamber was quite quiet because I used little bit of triamcinolone acetate in this case. At this moment, I'm checking the you know, anything, if anything is there under the iris because the pupil has come down. The pupil has become smaller. Maintaining the anterior chamber with the 23G Simco cannula, I am checking all this out. And now, I am asking for the triamcinolone acetate. Tramsonal acetate is injected and it is washed out. In this case, just this much. Little bit of tramsonal acetate was injected and it was washed out. Whatever little bit of molecules remains here and there, that takes care of the postoperative inflammation to a great extent. So this is a good idea to use little bit of triamcinolone acetate in such cases in faculitic glaucomas. We should not use much. We don't know whether the patient is a steroid responder or not. So just a little bit to reduce the inflammation. And then this is a sweeping movement all around to remove anything any cortical matter or any cells or anything remaining in the angle just to clean it out. And then this is the final lavage and formation of the anterior chamber with the Simco cannula. The integrity of the wounds are checked and little bit of moxie is injected as the last step. Thank you very much for your attention. This patient did very well in the postoperative period. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.